Hi, Morgan Hughes here with another edition of Your Caster Connection. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly measure specs of a caster. When, when you call in, you may be asked a series of questions. Uh, what is the wheel diameter of your caster? What overall height do you need? What is the hub length? What is the inside and outside diameters of a bearing? It can get kind of complicated if you're not used to talking in those specific terms. So we're going to go over how to do those things real quick. First thing we'll talk about is wheel diameter and how to measure wheel diameter. Diameter is, is obviously the, the, the distance from one side of the wheel to the other. So we'll take a, a six inch phenolic wheel here and just place your measuring tape on one side and draw it to the other. Now keep in mind with soft tread wheels, sometimes if you're measuring a caster that's been in use for a long time, that wheel tread may have wore down. So when you're talking about wheel diameters, they're usually in, in hard numbers, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, 10, 12, 14, 16. So if you have something that says, oh, this is a 5.3 inch wheel, you may have a 6 inch wheel that's, that's run down over the years. The next thing we'll talk about is tread width. Now this is a lot like wheel diameter, you're just measuring from one side of the wheel tread to the other. This is the wheel tread right here. This is a two inch wide wheel. So when, when somebody says, I have a six by two caster, they, they don't mean overall height. It's not a six inch overall height caster. It's a six inch wheel with a two inch tread width. Uh, tread widths usually come in hard numbers, but not always, not like wheel diameters. You'll have uh, common sizes like one inch wide, inch and a quarter wide, inch and a half, two inch, two and a half, three, four, and on up for your heavier duty applications. The next thing we'll talk about is hub length of a wheel. Now this is something that you probably won't have to measure very often, but sometimes it is important when you're keeping a fork on an application and just replacing the wheel itself. To measure the hub length, you just it's kind of the same thing as tread width, but it's, it's usually a little bit longer than that, depending on your, your, your wheel application. So this is a phenolic, just like last time, and you put your tape measure on the inside and measure the, the one side to the other. This, for instance, is two and three sixteenths. Your measurements on, on hub length are going to be way less of a normal number, uh, such as wheel diameter. You know, a six inch wheel, in this case, has a two and three sixteenths hub length. It's, it's kind of a weird measurement, so if you get one of those weird numbers, uh, don't worry, you're usually going to be right. Next we'll talk about top plate sizes. This is again fairly simplistic, just like wheel diameter and tread width. You want to measure from one side of the uh, top plate to the other, going both ways. Uh, both hole pattern is something that, that people talk a lot about with, with top plate sizes, but both hole patterns are, are fairly uniform across the line when you talk about specific top plate sizes. For instance, this is a four by four and a half inch top plate. These are 99 times out of 100 going to have a 2 and 5 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths bolt hole pattern that's slotted out to 3 by 3. So don't focus as much on the bolt hole pattern uh, as much as the total uh, length and width of the top plate itself. Now we'll talk about stem size on uh, stem casters. There are two things you need to measure when you're measuring a stem. One is the length of the stem and the other is the diameter of the stem. Uh, a handy tool to have is a caliper. Uh, this is a, a half inch. So you basically are going to take your caliper and go, that doesn't fit, that doesn't fit, that's too big, that fits perfectly, it's a half inch. Next, you'll measure the length of the stem itself. This is an inch and a half. You don't want to start anywhere other than right here, right where the stem meets the raceway. Uh, or the, the cap over the raceway. A lot of people will measure from here, a lot of people will measure from here. I don't know why, I never will. You measure from the bottom of the stem to the top of the stem. So this is an inch and a half long. You would call this a half inch by inch and a half threaded stem. The next thing we're going to talk about is measuring overall height. Now this is a, a seemingly easy thing to measure that is frequently complicated unnecessarily. Overall height is the bottom of the wheel to the top of however you're attaching that caster to the application. For instance, here with this rigid caster, we go top of the top plate, 
to bottom of the wheel. This is a 10 and an 8th overall height. It gets a little more complicated with, with, with stem casters, but it's not that complicated. You don't want to include the stem measurement in the overall height of a stem caster. So you would take wherever that caster is going to sit flush up against the application and measure from there. With this four by inch and a quarter CC Apex swivel caster, you'll see that this has a five inch overall height. If you were measuring from here, you would get about a six and seven eighths overall height. In reality, this is a five inch overall height caster. So do yourself a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You never know when it might help you out.